will take advantage of his character. They will take advantage of him to further their own cause, okay, their own sort of agenda. So you have to remember that as well. He's only human and he's a pretty fucking special human. We have a video here from Freely, just found it's in the hard drive, just upload some old videos. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Blast from the past. Uh, I'll give Freely one big praise is that uh, in the decade we were together, roughly, she was 100% of the time correct about character judgments. Character judgments. Character judgment. Character judgments. She would, we'd meet someone or be friends with someone, she'd be like, that person, in, they'll turn on us one day. Don't, be, don't give them too much time. And I'm like, what? They're really nice. She's like, no, no, no. So, and she was always fucking right. She had this gift about calling character judgments really, really early on. And she was 100% right every single fucking time. So that was that's pretty that's a pretty amazing gift. I definitely don't have that. Freely's got it. Anyway, this is a video. Watch it to the very very end. Freely shows the insights and opinions on yours truly. Have any comments or questions? Leave down below, and uh, we'll see you next video. You can be stubborn as fuck. Hey, banana bitches! Welcome to another episode. Here I am with the lovely Ness on YouTube. Hello. Check out her channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. And um, this video I've been wanting to make for a long time. It was partially inspired by Mummy Tang and the Mukbang, the Mukbang Queen. Bang. Yeah, I think I said it right this time. I talked to um, one of my Korean friends. And um, if you haven't seen the video, watch it. I'll put a link in the description below. Her channel's going amazing. And she actually gave us a shout out and Durian Rider Harley in particular. And that's what this video is about today. We want to talk about Durian Rider. And I know there's a lot of you who are going to be like, oh my God, I don't want to talk about him. Oh my God, I hate him. I fucking hate him. Stop. Just chill out. Relax. It's okay. All right. I know you might have your like perception of what he is like but you don't actually know him if you hate him you don't know him that's basically it if you hate him you don't know him so i've been in the presence of harley for the last decade basically i've shared company with harley for 10 years which is a fucking amazing t amount of time and so if anyone knows him, I know him, okay? And I like to think of myself as someone who is a good judge of character, who is carved up, who is rational. So when I say someone is a good person, they're a fucking good person. I'm not going to waste 10 years of my life with someone who is like a scammer, an arsehole, um, a sociopath, a cunt, whatever you want to call him. I'm not going to spend my time with someone like that, right? So I just wanted to get that off my chest. And... Firstly, before we move forward, I want this to be a discussion between us, the three of us, basically. <laughs> okay, personal. I want it to be personal, so I'm going to turn off the comments because I don't want to see a lot of fucking like fighting and um, you know people who don't know Harley bashing Harley and stuff like that. And there's a lot of noise in the comments. There's going to be so much noise. I'm turning them off for the first time in history, and we're going to see how that goes. So, Harley. Harley Jurin Rider. Harley Jurin Rider. You know, it's a big, a big subject. Harley's a big subject, a big topic to cover. You know, he's just, he's a very complex, complex person, but at the same time, he's very simple in the way that he, his message and his heart is so fucking huge, and it's always about giving. Mm. We were talking about this, hey? Always yeah. about giving. We had dinner last night with some friends, and we started talking about Harley, and it was just story after story after story of people telling their story of how he's helped them. And it yeah, was like one person started, then the others is like and just kept, on, kept on coming and coming. And it was like all these little stories that you never hear about, mm -hmm. but all these ways that Harley has helped, you know, if it's like cycling tips or information or whatever, yeah, he gives and doesn't expect anything back from these people at all. Yeah, no, he's just, he's giving because he loves to fucking do it. The guy gets a high. We were talking about this also. It's like, I like to give, you know, I like to give to people, but Harley's like next level. Okay, he gets this like shot of happiness, excitement when he gives, which is pretty fucking amazing. Like he will get a fucking high of putting a piece of rubbish in the bin. How many people will get a high off that, of that level of contribution mm -hmm. and also, um, with the whole like here's another story so one of the stories from around the table was that um you know one of the guys couldn't believe this one particular ride took harley so long so he watched a video that harley made of that day and like you know every fucking like half an hour harley is stopping to help like animals across the road like not even animals like insects <laughs> helping insects like there's a bug on the road 
and he helps the bug across the road. And he's not doing that to get some sort of kudos. Or like, oh my god, how amazing is Harley? That's super sweet. No, he just actually cares about the bug. And like, I remember the other day, we were coming up the, the mountain, and there was a Thai guy who was um, broken down, and he didn't have anyone helping him. People were riding past, and Harley stopped, he fixed his bike, and the guy was like, thank you so much. And that is just a very average day in our life. It's a very average day. He, he takes his time out of the day all the time to help people. Like this morning, helping people fix their bike yet again. Hundreds, hundreds, the thousands of people he's got onto bikes. Yeah. What, like us? Countless. I, would, I probably wouldn't be riding if it wasn't for Harley. Yeah. I mean, I remember last year, he invited me into his home and welcomed me without expecting anything. There wasn't any expectation. He's just yeah. like, hey, come, you know, you know. You wanted to, like, learn the whole YouTube thing and everything like that. And Harley's like, yeah, come on in. Come yeah. on over. Which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to do, like, just to put yourself out there. I mean, like... Um, when it comes to his approach, do we agree with everything Harley says or everything he does or are we on board 100%? No, we're not. He can be stubborn as fuck. Yes, we know that. But we do, or I do, I speak for myself, I do 100% agree with his core message, which is giving, okay? Which is, you know, trying to, put him, putting himself out on a limb to help people like you, okay? To protect people, to warn people. You know, whenever you feel angry at Harley, like look beneath that surface, look beneath that anger and go, what more could this mean? What is he trying to achieve? It, what is what is beneath this rather than just looking at that shell? Yeah, huh. just forget the swearing and just look at the meaning behind his, yeah. why he's doing that. And the swearing is an interesting one we're talking about, the cultural thing. Yeah, for like, sure. I mean, I mean, Harley's from like <laughs> a pretty rough place in Australia, okay, like... Good old Adelaide. Good old Adelaide. Good old ads. You know, like, he's from a, a pretty rough place in Australia, and then within that rough place, he's from a rough place. So when you hear things like shit card, motherfucker, it's yeah. a cultural thing. It's you have to understand thing. it's, like, completely normal to speak like that in some, in some parts. Of Australia, it's completely normal. And we were in the States a few weeks ago. Yeah. And you cannot... <laughs> no, 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 no. You cannot say those things there. And so, like... You can be offended by it, but just... just the meaning is different. Yeah, the meaning is different. And understand that it's like it's totally acceptable for him in his group, in his area, or how he was brought up. Yeah. Um, is he perfect? Is he a perfect human being? No, of course he's fucking not. Does he make mistakes? Of course he fucking does. Everybody does. You do too. <laughs> okay? You know, you have to remember that. No one is immune to the you know human emotions everybody's susceptible to human emotions we just that's us we experience those okay so remember that when you want to grill harley okay and remember to dive deep beneath dive deep beneath and go what does this mean what's this guy trying to do why is he so fucking passionate why and you look beneath that passion that hard rough ex exterior and you'll find a massive heart just wanting to help. Very, very simple. It's a very, very simple thing. It is simple. And hours and hours on, on Tumblr. Oh, so oh many God. hours. Just like <laughs> you should check out his, his Tumblr. It's Ask Jureen Rider. Like, hours and hours and hours. Thousands of comments. And I'm like, you know, it'll be 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm like, Harley, you've got to come to bed. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. You've got to look after yourself. And he's like, I've still got questions. I've got to answer these questions like a machine. So, I mean, how many people, how many people would you know who would um, take a spider, you know, come up to a spider and see a spider and go, that spider's dehydrated. It needs some water. I'm going to give it some water. Not many people. No, Harley. most people are like stand on it or something or kill it, spray it. Not Harley. He hydrates that spider. He, he observes that spider until it is feeling better. And that's what he does with people. You know, he's... I mean, I have a million stories of how he's helped me, for sure. You know, like, he has pushed me to the point of me being going, I fucking hate you! But, you know, afterwards, after I've got the carbs in, the water in, I've looked back and thought, shit, he was right. You know, he was just trying to help. But because I was in that mental state of not being, you know, right of like taking it personally and a lot of people take him personally when they shouldn't be taking him personally we were thinking about it that um it would be great if you have been helped by harley in some way 
you know, if you've been helped by him, make a video and say, hey, Harley did this for me. Because I know there's thousands of you out there. And you haven't heard those stories. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure a lot of people want to hear those stories and it's easy to just roll over them and go, yeah, thanks, Harley. You spent hours with me. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks a lot. And like, and there's people who will become haters of him who's helped so much. And there's channels that will hate on him and shit like that. But at the end of the day, the guy has the heart of someone I have never met in my life. Honestly, the most giving person I've ever met in my life. And no matter, you know, what happens in the future or whatever between Harley and I, I will always say that because he is super, super generous person to like to a fault sometimes where people are just like, I don't want your help, you know, just fuck off kind of thing. (laughs) And he's still there. I I will still help you. (laughs) And, you know, he can be baited. He can be baited and he can, you know, um, do things that maybe he didn't think about enough or you know like that you know people will take advantage of his character they will take advantage of him to further their own cause okay their own sort of agenda so you have to remember that as well he's only human and he's a pretty fucking special human